In these videos we'll be demonstrating the activities that we would have done had we been able to run these practicals face to face. Now in the interests of time unfortunately we won't be able to provide you with the numerical data for each of the activities but certainly you'll be able to see the outcome and a description of what the actual activity is. Lastly Unfortunately when we were recording these videos we had a problem with the microphone and so a lot of the audio didn't record while we were filming. We went back and added the narration in voiceover and so the result is that you'll notice that the movement of the lips doesn't necessarily match the audio that you'll be hearing and so I apologize for that. Now I'll hand you over to Dr. Dan Johnson who will take you through each of these activities. So then we move on to demonstrating the stretch reflex um, with Tara. And it's important to remember the, the stretch reflex, um, what we're doing in this case is hitting a tendon with a tendon hammer uh, to activate the muscle spindle within the relevant muscle. So with this knee jerk one we'll demonstrate first, we're hitting the, the tendon just below the kneecap, the patella, and that's going to activate the muscle spindles within the quadriceps muscle. So what we're really mimicking here is stretch of the muscle. So even though we aren't physically stretching it, um, by hitting the tendon we're mimicking stretch. The result of this is that where the muscle spindle is going to you know, lengthen, we're going to get activation of that firing, um, that sensory signal back to the spinal cord. And as a response, we're going to get um, motor neurons firing that innervate the quadriceps muscle and get contraction of that muscle because what we're really mimicking is a stretching of the quadriceps muscle um, and to, to compensate for that the reflex that is going to be elicited is to shorten the quadriceps muscle in order to you know maintain posture. So that's what we're going to do first of all and then we're going to move on to an ankle jerk reflex and um, a triceps reflex which are both also types of stretch reflex. So the key steps in eliciting the uh, the knee jerk reflex uh, to first palpate the tendon just below the patella and then we're going to strike it with a tendon hammer and what we'd expect is a contraction of the quadriceps muscle which will make Tara's lower leg um, jerk out, jerk forward. Okay. So Tara's got quite a strong reflex there as her regular reflex um, and now we're going to move on to a few variations on this. So the reasons for demonstrating these variations is to show that even though a reflex is involuntary, there is some level of conscious control over it in the sense that you can, uh, or there's higher order brain regions that can modulate the strength of the reflex response, if you like. So to demonstrate this, I now ask Tara to try to voluntarily suppress her reflex. Um, so what she's going to do is try to suppress that and I'm going to hit it with the tendon hammer. Okay, and what you can see in that video is that when Tara tried to suppress the reflex, it was quite substantially suppressed, um, probably through conscious contraction of the, the hamstring muscle, which is the antagonistic muscle to the quad, so she can really rein in the strength of that response. So it is possible to suppress not the reflex totally, but the magnitude of the reflex. We move on to another example where we're using something called the monkey grip. Now this is um, known as the Gendrasic manoeuvre. It's not entirely clear how it works physiologically, um, but in a lot of people you'll see augmentation of the reflex, of the strength of the reflex when you apply this monkey grip. Uh, so that's what Tara is going to demonstrate to see if her reflex becomes a bit stronger as a result of this. Okay, so what you see when we hit Tara's tendon with the hammer for that particular reflex um, is, you know, possibly augmentation of the reflex. She had quite a strong reflex under baseline conditions anyway, uh, but it does seem to increase in, in magnitude quite a bit. So that's the monkey grip. Again, just emphasising that there is some higher order modulation of the, the magnitude of a reflex. So we then move on to the ankle jerk reflex and in this case we're going to be hitting the Achilles tendon. Similar principle to the knee jerk reflex um, but in this case we're activating the muscle spindles within the gastrocnemius muscle. This is going to send the sensation to the spinal cord that 
the gastroc is being stretched. The consequence of that will be firing motor neurons that innervate the gastroc to cause a contraction of it. And as a result, you get this ankle jerk. Okay, so you can see the normal ankle jerk reflex where the, um, there's a yeah, lifting of the heel back towards the back of the calf. And again, we asked Tara to try to inhibit this reflex um, and also to augment it using the monkey grip. So it can be a little bit more difficult to pick up in this case, um, purely because the ankle jerk reflex is you know, not as pronounced as the knee jerk reflex, but you probably get the idea. So finally, we're going to explore a triceps reflex. So in this case, we're hitting the tendon of the triceps. Um, again, simulating stretch of the triceps. Um, activating those muscle spindles within the triceps muscle and again the response expected response would be that the triceps would then contract to normalize the stretch and you get a jerking of the arm so we sort of very important in this experiment to really relax the upper arm um, so we have Tara there like a bit of a scarecrow palpate the tendon and then strike it with the tendon hammer and um, what you'll see in this case is movement at the elbow to bring that arm up. Um, and that is the triceps reflex. Okay, shortening of the triceps muscle. And again, it can be suppressed um, consciously. Not really possible to do the monkey grip with this sort of experiment, but you can do something similar to the monkey grip by either gritting your teeth or, or clenching um, your fist, something like that. Um, again, we get some augmentation of the response there.